grew up in Little Rock, Arkansas. Uh, I attended uh, Parview High School, had a pretty good senior year, finished 29 and two, played for uh, the famous Hall of Famer Coach Flanagan. And uh, man, just, just just really enjoyed that. That taught me a lot going into college. Uh, played at Ole Miss. The first year we ended up making it to the NCAA tournament, uh, played against Villanova. Second year, uh, we made it to the NIT. And the third year is when we popped it off and made it to the Sweet 16, had a great year. Kept it off my senior year uh, at Ole Miss, lost to UCLA. So I've been to the tournament three out of four years, which is real good. And uh, had a pretty good career at Ole Miss. Uh, I got into coaching uh, kind of strange. Uh, I was trying to shy away from coaching. But uh, my former AAU coach, Bill Ingram, uh, reached out to me and asked me to come help with his organization that I had played for. And it was that moment that I got bit by the coaching bug. And I think a couple years later, a good friend of mine, Jason Flanagan, ended up uh, having a conversation on our couch. Uh, he he kind of mentioned that he might receive a head coaching job. And I didn't quite believe him, but four months later, he got the job. and. And we, had, we, we helped turn Homeless Community College into a powerhouse. Man, this job was one of those jobs that was real intriguing because of location and the tradition. Uh, the South was always competitive. Um, Coach Windows did a great job of, of, of being the leader for so many years. And when uh, he retired and the job came over, I knew I wanted that job. I wanted to uh, get my first chance of being a head coach. I've seen guys who are working hard, trying to get to to know me, trying to figure me out. Uh, but they've been giving me everything they uh, can give me. Uh, we have good sophomore leadership. Micah uh, Brown has been a pretty good guy. He's been probably my most consistent player. Uh, my guards uh, from last year, Dylan and uh, Andy. Uh, I've been really hard on them, uh, even though they've been known as shooters. But I'm getting trying to get them to play better on defense and be, be more vocal leaders. Uh, Kobe Cook, Kobe Cook is a guy who is a real vocal leader. Uh, he didn't play as much last year, and I expect big things from him this year. To one, we got him late. Uh, he's been coming, getting in better shape. Uh, I think that he has to uh, focus a little bit more, and which that comes with time. And so, man, if he keeps that up, man, he should help us tremendously. We got a tough guy I really like, the Wiseman Booker. Booker is one of those guys, like I said, I can win with. Uh, he plays tough, uh, he rebounds the ball, and he competes. And that's the main thing coming in, when you compete. Uh, have good time to freshmen, Justin Mentor, uh, and Jay McCoy is one of those guys who actually, both of those guys really, they both bring a good offensive standpoint. And uh, I'm getting on them about playing defense and rebounding. Justin is more of an alpha dog, uh, someone who wants the spotlight. Jaden is a great scorer, but I'm trying to hone his all-around game. Aaron Harrison, the kid that we got later on out of Philadelphia, like I said, uh, Real good kid, uh, plays downhill, a kid that can really get to the rim, uh, can create uh, a lot of mismatches, and, and, and put you in a situation in which you really don't want to guard. Uh, he's adapting, you know, coming from Philadelphia to Mississippi is, is a bit of a culture shock, but he's made the, the trans, uh, transition pretty well. Damian Wheaton, Damian's a big. Uh, the key for Damian was basically having a guy who could really coach him and teach him things. And by me hiring Coach Adams, which really was a match made in heaven for him, he has someone who can relate to, uh, someone who can push him, and he's gotten better. He's made strides from the summer until now, and I'm, I'm looking for big things for him. Uh, I hired Tyler because, for one, he's a big man, and, and I plan on bringing the best big man in the country to work with a guy. And to me, he went to the best school, Georgetown. Uh, I remember Tyler from his playing days, and even though, like I said, his, his career got cut short, the, the things that he learned and the way that he was taught at Georgetown, he bringing that to our program. It can only help our program tremendously over the next years. You're talking about a loaded South. Loaded South, you have Pearl River, you have Jones, Hines has improved, Southwest, Colin is always there. Uh, it's, it's just a real deep league. Uh, so we got to compete in order to stay at the top. And it's going to be a dog fight week in and week out. My expectation this year is to compete and win. Uh, I've been part of winning programs my entire life, and I don't think that should stop when I get here. Uh, we're, our goal is to win the South, win the state, win the region, win it all. Why not? You know, as long as we have big, big goals and big dreams, we got something we need to achieve.